Hello all, Shoestring here. I'm going to give you an update today on the lithium batteries that I'm going to put into my system. The three solar panels, which are on top of my shed, each are 200 watts. So this is a 600 watt system. It comes down the side of the shed. Here is the circuit breaker, just one. Okay, then it goes down and it goes into my workspace. This is my battery room and it's my workspace. So it comes in from the solar panels and it comes into my charge controller right here, TriStar. All right, so as you can see, it is it is blinking green, which means it's fully charged, okay? And then from there, you have two options. First, this comes down to the batteries which is what we're really here to talk about today is the batteries. The other part, of course, goes from the charge controller into my inverter. This is the Ames 8,000 watt inverter. Okay, so what did I do today? Well, today what I did is I came in, I have been working on these Fly Power Lithium Batteries. They are, I'll give you a good look at them, 100 amp hour. I've had to buy them slowly because Shoestring doesn't have a lot of money, which is why Shoestring started this channel, to show folks how I do things inexpensively and they will still work. Okay, so several things I like about these batteries. First of all, I like the post. A lot of lithium batteries, as you know, has those small little square posts. And it's really hard to fit regular cables on them because they're either too small or the bolt you get is too little and they just don't work well. Well, this is set up where you can use regular cables just like you would on your regular batteries for your car. Right? So, I like these. I like the post, and I like how the battery functions. I've been testing them. I'll put a few of the tests uh, on YouTube, and if you'd like to see them, they are there. Okay, so what I have here, five lithium 100 amp hour batteries. They are connected in parallel, which gives me 500 amp hours. Now, the manual says they don't recommend more than four batteries at a time. But I think from my testing, we can easily do five. So I'm going to find out. So I've now connected these to my system. Also want to show you what they were connected to. All right. They were connected to these batteries here that are wet, leaded, acid batteries. Just standard batteries. You can go buy at the any auto play store. I have some AutoCraft, and I have, well, I got them all from the same place, but some of them are AutoCraft, which they don't sell anymore, by the way. Now they sell all diehards. But let's point out a few things with these batteries. I still recommend them. They work really, really well. I like these batteries, even though they are getting more expensive. You look these batteries up, and they will tell you that's over $200 for one deep cycle battery. Don't use a car battery. Deep cycle battery. When I started buying the lithium batteries here, they were 600 and something dollars. Now they've dropped to around 300 So these lithiums are actually getting close to these. And... There's a lot of cons to these batteries that the lithium doesn't have, which is why I'm working on switching over. Anyway, the cons that are important at the moment to me on my system is a couple. First of all, of course, you have to do maintenance on them. These batteries take maintenance. Two, they have a really bad habit of dropping voltage. When you pull a lot of power at first, the voltage will drop. So, I have a well. Well has two motors. One motor pulls the water up out of the ground and puts it into the, an aerator. 
Then another motor takes the water from the aerator and puts it into the house. Now, when both motors come on at the same time, they're about 7 amps. And these batteries, the voltage with that much pull will drop, which could turn my inverter off if the inverter thinks I have too low a voltage in the batteries. The truth of the matter is I don't have too low a voltage in the batteries. It's just reading that because it drops when it pulls a lot. Lithium here does not have such a bad drop. Now, people that say there is no drop in voltage, that's not true. I've tested it, and there is a real drop, but it's not substantial compared to the other ones. And, of course, these are no maintenance. They don't have the same voltage drop. Also, the batteries have an off and on, off and on switch. I made sure I switched this one around so you could see it. You turn the battery on, and it will show you what the voltage is right there. And it has a USB, and that USB works. I've tried it. So, I like that. Now, turning the battery on has no other effect than <laughs> making the USB work and where you can see the voltage. That's all it does. You don't have to turn the battery on to make the battery work. But I wanted to show you that. Okay, I did have... Nine, as you can see there, deep cycle marine batteries, which I said have worked great for years, but they take a lot of work. Uh, a few at the bottom are out of place because I'm unhooking them and I'm checking out, uh, checking the water and making sure the cells are good and all that. Okay, so now I've switched from those to these. These five should easily take the place of the nine. And I'm going to find out if it does or not. Right now, I'm just showing you the install and what I did and why I did it. And let you know about the price change. Also, if something goes wrong with this, I can easily take my cables off. As you can see, the wire is right here. Bring them back and hook this system right back up. So I'm not at risk of something going wrong with my system. And then when the power goes out, like it did just the other day, we're out of power. Got to keep this system running. Mrs. Shoestring loves to have water coming in the house and doesn't like it when it stops. Okay, so that's the initial walkthrough, my initial install. And if you like this type of video, please subscribe and share it. Show it to your friends and people that you think may enjoy and could use videos like this. Please comment. Let me know what you think. And shoestring out.